The brand new Koenigsegg CC850 has just released at Monterey Car Week in America, and it's set to have some of the craziest performance and pricing of any production car ever. You're watching Auto Anorak, and let's not waste any time and look straight into 2022's new Koenigsegg, and why it's probably not going to seem as crazy as cars like the Yesco. Believe it or not, it has been 20 years since the first Koenigsegg rolled off the production line. The Koenigsegg CC8S, a manic hypercar that was the most powerful production car in the world with 655 horsepower back in 2002. And whilst it doesn't look as outlandish as some of the eggs of today, it really was something quite groundbreaking back then. So groundbreaking in fact that its CCR variant even pushed the stig beyond his limit. And so, in homage to the car that started all of this madness, Koenigsegg have taken inspiration from the CC8S in a number of ways, but also totally transformed it into a modern piece of artwork that perfectly encapsulates the essence of the car. What about this new name then? Well, CC8S stood for Competition Coupe 8-cylinder supercharged, and this is where it gets confusing, because I had assumed 850 on the new one meant 850 horsepower, but it actually stands for 8 cylinders, and then the 50 is to honour Christian von Koenigsegg's 50th birthday and also designates how many of these will be made. More than that power figure later, by the way. Just 50 of these cars will be made, which will no doubt have already been snapped up by every single shake in the Middle East with a little bit of oil money. The design harks back to that more minimalist Swedish design, which the old Koenigsegg CC8S had. It's a sort of simplicity that I very much welcome in the world of overly designed cars like the FK8 Civic Type R. The edges around this car are much more straight, and the front is such a simple shape with front lights akin to the Gamera, which work seriously well. I actually prefer the look of this car to the Agera, especially the side profile with those striking vents and those throwback phone dial wheels. They really take the design of the original CC8S wheels to the next level and actually very much remind me of how Lamborghini imitated the phone dial Countach wheels on their brand new Countach. But the back of this car has to be my favourite because of those tail lights. They obviously imitate the three circular lights that were seen on all Koenigseggs from the CC8S up to the CC8S. CXR, but they just look so crisp and bang up to date. They've really brought this car into the new decade. And yet again, we see another mashup of old and new because it appears to have a gooseneck rear wing, just like the Regera, which suits this car very well. And of course, you have the famous Ghost Squadron ghosts of cars built in the Ghost Squadron fighter jet hangar. And the wing isn't the only piece of aero in this car. The CC850 comes with a colossal rear diffuser, and this shows how much Koenigsegg have changed from their early days when they mainly cared about top speed, hence why they didn't even come with a wing, and were maniacal death traps. There's also a central exhaust system like we've seen on all Koenigseggs apart from the Regera, which is a little more edged off and sharpened up. A bit that I love about this car is that rear clamshell and roof line, which is barely distinguishable from the Koenigseggs of 20 years ago, and this shows how much the design has truly stood the test of time. Moving towards the interior, and it's a real blend of various Koenigseggs, you'll instantly notice those carbon backed seats like the Gamera, the steering wheel is also very much Gamera and isn't quite as crazy as the Yesco with its speedometer and so forth actually on the wheel itself. Then the interior vents also seem to be from the Regera, and all of these Gamera and Regera cues tell you a lot about this car and its character. It's not going to be the most hardcore Koenigsegg ever or break any records, it's going to take life a little less seriously, more about enjoying Koenigsegg and embracing their past. Finally, the dashboard is quite the improvement from the somewhat archaic CC8S dash. Early Koenigsegg dashes and steering wheels were uh, not it. And then looking down, yes, you're right. This thing has a manual transmission. But not just any manual transmission, no, no. This, this is the craziest thing I've seen in a long time. It is based on Koenigsegg's new in-house 9-speed automatic gearbox that connects up to their in-house 1,366 horsepower 5-liter twin turbocharged V8, which by the way means, yes, this car almost has a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio, with it weighing 1,385 kilograms. Anyway, the gearbox, sorry. The 9-speed auto can either go in full auto mode or switch over to simulate a 6-speed manual, so that you can now row gears in a car with a megawatt of power. This has to be the most powerful manual car ever, and it doesn't stop there. You can use Koenigsegg's new Engage Shift system to change the gear ratios. So let's say you're on a small twisty road and want to rev up to that sweet, sweet 1850 RPM redline without going at license losing speeds. You can have some short gearing. But then, if you want to do a cheeky top speed run on the Autobahn and take it to speeds in excess of 250 miles per hour, you can do that and have extremely long gear ratios. <laughs> that has to be the 
craziest, most adjustable gearbox I've ever heard of. And uh, yeah, I really hope Koenigsegg have done a good job on the R&D on that because uh, it sounds very complicated and I don't think even the highest of automotive specialists would be able to work on it. The price for this carbon wrapped piece of automotive art and elegance, three million dollars. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you'd have in the comments down below. The brand new Koenigsegg CC850 or the brand new Bugatti Mistral that was just released at Monterey Car Week. I'll hopefully have a video of that coming up very, very soon. Anyway, that's all from me today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.